right, back looking at some more CDs. Uh, this one's a bit dusty, it's right on the top. This is November, wish I could dream it again. A kind of like avant-garde, kind of uh, black, kind of atmospheric blackish, maybe, maybe doom death, but atmospheric definitely. So sort of one you could uh, put on and nod off to. Right, classic obituary, double bloody CD, slowly we what, plus cause of death, both on the same. I've got both of those on vinyl. I might even have blinking other CDs of it actually thinking about it. <laughs> if I have, it was a mistake. Uh, right, Pyogenesis. These guys started off as really cool uh, German, uh, Doom Death, um, and uh, they just, oh, they wimped out basically. This one I think is pretty, I think this is one of the ones where they weren't very good. Yeah, I kind of, yeah, this is one of the the last ones of those that I bought. They're actually uh, pop now, I believe. I think they actually went to being pop. Pyogenesis, I'm not sure if I actually said the name. Pyogenesis, their early stuff is awesome. A couple of EPs, and then they went into this, ugh, yeah, best left not mentioned, really. Right, Maleficium, uh, This Illusion of Humanity. I can't say I recall it very well, but I'm guessing Doom Death. I mean, look at that. It's got to be Doom Death in it. Right, this is a really cool thrash metal band. I remember when I was doing my fanzine, I was like heralding this band as being like uh, the restart of Thrash. At that time, Thrash had been dead for quite a while. And I was saying, oh yeah, Thrash is back. Attica, listen to this. When heroes fall, power and Thrash with melody from Florida. Join the reign of power is what it says on the sticker. And I really enjoyed this album. I was hoping it was going to presage the uh, beginning of a new Thrash revival. And it didn't come at the time. But a few years later, maybe maybe it could have even been a decade later. But eventually we did have that Thrash revival, didn't we? Uh, I think it was probably too late for Attica. But uh, they were a really good band anyway. They're a really good album. Now, I'm not sure if they're getting any other stuff out. But that album is really cool when Heroes Fall. Right, October 31, 2 CD, Meet Thy Maker. Um... Two CD and one of them falls out. Now, has it got no, something else? Visions of the End, yeah. Visions of the End is one CD, and the other one is Meet Your Maker. So that's cool. I think it's an EP plus an album. Both of them have fallen out of their blinking cases. Yeah, so Meet Thy Maker is one, Visions of the End is the other. And uh, yeah, really good stuff. Um, I think last week I mentioned the other band, King Foley is in, uh, a band called... Um, Deceased, and he's also in this October 31. He was also in another band actually called Doomstone, who were pretty cool as well. Uh, I've actually, I might have a CD on this week or maybe next week of showing you of those. I might have shown it to you already actually, I can't really remember now. But yeah, good bands, all of them. The last release from October 31 was um, really cool actually. It's, um, you know, the old Metal Massacre compilations used to have loads of Metal Massacre, and it basically it's a cover of lots of different bands from the Metal Massacre compilations. So if you enjoy that, go and check out the October 31 uh, band. Camp and pick it up. Right, Primal Dawn. I think these were from Ireland. They were a really good uh, blackish death metal band, actually. I really like the stuff that they sent me, actually. Really enjoyed every EP they sent me. There's two EPs they had, and I thought they were both really ripping stuff. This is the Euthanasiac program. Is it Euthanasiac? No, the Euthanasia program. There you go. Right, here's another good. Uh, Fresh band, Malaya Rage. These are one of those ones that kind of, they almost missed out maybe on the, they're coming like a, maybe a third tier uh, or third wave, whatever you'd call it, of, uh, of fresh metal. They had, um, what's that first album? Something to Survive, Kill to Survive, I think it is. Um, I think Malaya Rage comes from like, I think it was a, like, an, like a Native American Indian tribe or something. Uh, Native American, uh, and there was something to do with their. I don't know, battle state, kind of like a berserker state they went into before battle, Malaya Rage. But anyway, these guys, as far as I know, they're still game. But because they missed out on that sort of, you know, they never got huge. They had a second one, um, what was the name of the second album? Solitary Solitude, was it? That's a really cool album. But anyway, a long while later, I kind of discovered they were still putting stuff out. So I managed to pick a few of them up, actually, because I always enjoyed Malaya Rage. It annoys me that bands like Metallica still going, getting loads of kudos, and bands like Malaya Rage are being ignored. In fact, I remember once listening to a, a new Metallica album being played in the club. I didn't know who it was at the time. And I thought, oh, it sounds like a bad Malaya Rage. <laughs> I remember thinking to myself. And uh, yeah, Malaya Rage, kick ass. Anyway, 
on the other end of the thrash spectrum, Light Rage kind of like went more heavy metal towards the end, and more like melodic -y, but all good stuff. But Terror Squad, Japanese thrash band, this is this is always bordering on black thrash because there's, there's so much vitriol, so much speed going on in this release. I first discovered this band on a little, um, there's a set of three singles called Headbangers Against Disco, and one of their tracks uh, was on that. And then I picked this one up, Terror Squad, The Wild Stream of Eternal Sin, and this is just frenetic. It's frantic, frenetic, thrashing stuff. If you, if you like thrash, you like speedy thrash and you can't get on with Terror Squad, then you know, you, you're not worth thinking thrashing to with me, I'm telling you, because they are awesome. Right, on the completely opposite end, we've got uh, some doom metal now. Iron Man is a great doom metal band. I think this is their first album. Sadly, the main man from this band died recently. Uh, the main riff maker. I can't remember what his name is. Oh, so annoying. I don't want to shout out a name in case I've got, I think it was Alfred Morris III, I think his name was. Uh, but I hope I haven't just uh, put RIP to the wrong person. I think it was Alfred Morris. And uh, yeah, Iron Man, really good band. If you like doom metal, traditional doom metal, you can't go wrong with pretty much all their albums are, are pretty damn decent. Right, Acolytes were in, this were under, these were an underground uh, band. Kind of black metal, this one, I think they were black metal. Um, I can't remember if we put a gig on for them. I think I might have interviewed him in my fanzine. But yeah, there's just this basically an underground band. I think that was the only release they had. And then finally for this week, we've got a compilation from Razorback Records. Gore is your master, compilation number one. Loads of, uh, loads of cool, sick death metal on here. Like Cock and Ball Torture, Grot, Flesh Feast, Intense Hammer Rage. Uh, Execrator. I'm trying to remember who gave this to me. I think, I think Brutal Insanity, that's it. See, Brutal Insanity, that was a band. Uh, yeah, I, I knew their drummer a fair bit. Uh, he used to come down and stay around my house a few times because he was, he was drumming for Gorotted. And they were, you know, I was like, my drummer from my band who lived with me was going out with their guitarist. So, yeah, so that's how I sort of, he'd come and stayed over a few weekends. I think he traded this with me for something, or he gave it to me to review in my fanzine, something like that. But anyway, yeah, so that's Razorback Records, really good death metal uh, uh, um, label from America. Okay, that's it for this week. Check out all my other stuff. Uh, make sure you listen to my podcast as well. The link is down below. You can check out my podcast. Uh, all my podcasts are in there. Cheers for watching. Cheerio.